what's going on guys welcome back to another video um so today we're doing it kind of differently this is a new series where we interview other youtubers and kind of get their their point of view on their content and how they create it and the work that goes into it and the process that they actually have to pull to make this content so today i am with stories from the chaotic viking you can just call me viking um and so viking is actually a personal friend of mine um but is also a youtuber who specializes in making custom stories and does an amazing job so if you, you guys want to go check out his content link will be down in the description it'll be right under the social stuff and you guys can go there and check it out um so we're gonna go ahead and get into it all right so first question super hard question what made you want to get into youtube well, I guess I've always kind of had a knack for wanting to make videos. I mean, I've been on TikTok since I was like 15, never had a, like a real goal with it, but I just, I kept making videos and worked up the followers and I started making different content, trying out like cosplay and stuff. And that, they kind of have me develop the knack to want to make videos and YouTubers like Markiplier and like cinnamon toast can you know i've always wanted to do youtube based on that what specifically got me into um writing scary stories is i'm a writer i love to write but i have a hard problem with sitting down and writing a long story i i do a lot better when it comes to short stories so i'm currently i'm writing a book called the delusions of ziggy it's a bunch of short horror stories and um what I do on my YouTube is I write three stories, sometimes six stories every week. And every video, I read out three of the stories that I have written. The two people that got me into wanting to do that specifically were Corp's husband, his earlier YouTuber when he was making his uh, short, scary stories and all that. I got really into his stories. I got really into how he told his stories. And another person, kind of a bigger reason, is a personal friend of mine, JJ. Um, trying to think of channel name, how to pronounce it. Uh, they have a YouTube. It's Texting Stories by Dad Zawa. And they have this app and, you know, they can make and create their own texting stories off of it. And they can take, you know, take that and put it into a video. So they use that app. They make a video of them texting out these really intricate and honestly very interesting stories. And then takes them in and edits them down, puts music and whatnot over it, makes a video ev a video every single day. This, this guy is not, never not working on it. And, you know, people are becoming really receptive to it. I love the, 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 the stories myself. My friends that I've been referring to, they keep telling me that they're interested in it. And just how he's been doing and, like, his process with it has kind of inspired me, along with Corpse, to kind of do a short story type thing it's another excuse to have me write as well heck yeah yeah i can understand about sitting down and <laughs> like having to take the time and do stuff i struggle with that on the streaming all the time so um <laughs> so i guess that kind of answered the next question but i'm gonna ask it anyway did anyone specifically inspire you to make your channel the the two specifics are corpse husband and texting stories by dad zawa I really recommend that you check out that channel. Anyone who's watching this, you yourself, if you just have some time and want to watch, you know, quick little texting story, want to just read an interesting scene, I definitely recommend checking them out. Definitely. It sounds kind of cool. I like, I like the idea behind that. I've seen some channels do it and they, when they do it, they do a really good job. So it sounds like he does the same and it sounds He does. Awesome. He does. He puts a lot of work into it. Very overcritical of himself. He's like, oh God, I could have done better. I'm like, Bro, this is really good. <laughs> so, how long have you been doing YouTube? I've been kind of doing it off and on, say, since like late 2020. I was living in an apartment with uh, my my partner and uh, an old roommate of ours. And I started like trying to do like streaming on Twitch and whatnot. I couldn't really just make YouTube videos. And that was fun for a while, but streaming you know having to like sit there and constantly try to keep a conversation going interact 
it's a bit hard for me. So I've tried that for about a year. Didn't really work out. I tried doing reaction videos. And you know how that goes. So much copyright claim. I just... It took me... I've been doing the texting stories since, like, very early this year. But I've been doing YouTube on and off since, like, 2020. Gotcha. Yeah, I've been thinking about stopping the reaction videos because, you know, <laughs> copyright yeah, is just, right now. One Policies little tiny <laughs> audio is enough. <laughs> I know. It's just one, the smallest of things, too. And if you don't give credit for every little thing that you don't that you catch, it's it, it gets difficult. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I stopped. So, <laughs> So, well, you answered quite a few of my questions that first one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, why do you do YouTube? Like, as in, why do you do it? Do you do it to keep people entertained? Do you do it because you love writing stories? I guess kind of a bit of both. I mean, I love writing stories. I've been, I've been writing stories since I was, like, fucking three years old. I used to have this app... Um, it was just called scary stories, but it was an app that you could go on and you could write your short, your short horror stories and post them on there. I've been on that app since like middle school. And unfortunately it's no longer on the app store. And even if it was, I don't, I couldn't get it cause I have an iPhone, but on that app, I actually got kind of well known. I, I forget what my screen name on it was, but I had like a thousand followers. I, always was having like at least a few hundred people reading my stories as I came out. They even had this um, little rewards tab. It was like stories of the week and stories of the month and a bunch of other things. I wrote this um, 10 part story called uh, Insanity at the Asylum. It was 10 little short horror stories all combining into one big story. Every single part of Insanity at the Asylum made story of the week and stories of the month. Two months in a row, actually. Wow. So I, now that I don't have that app anymore, I'm itching for a new avenue to write. So I figured the best way I could do that is to start YouTube. And I've been featuring a lot of my friends and stuff and the stories that I write and kind of like things outside. And, you know, because of that, you know, I've been getting a lot of you know, their support, too. They come and watch it. Like, I love how you incorporated me in this. I, that's how I would picture my character doing this. So just between, like, my personal, like, people in my personal life, like, dude, I wish I could read more of your stories and missing my app, it's kind of why I do it. Um, lost my, uh, area of my list. <laughs> oh, no. Um, okay. Do you believe success for a YouTube channel lies within quality or quantity or both? <laughs> Well, I think you got to have that healthy mix of both. You want to you want to stay cons consistent. You know, you want to have a schedule, not too much for you, but something that you can stay consistent on, stay on top of. But you also want to make something that's like good quality. You know, you want to improve a little bit on the last one, you know, have your viewers wanting to watch the next video. So I think it's I think you need to have that healthy mix of both and not one over the other cuz you can't really have a good set of one or the other you have to have a healthy set of both that's actually really well said yeah i've I, I asked a few people this question and a lot of people give me very varied answers where they think quality is more important than quantity like I, there are some youtubers out there who will post six videos a month but the quality is absolutely phenomenal and there's youtubers who will post three videos a day and the quality probably could be better uh right. but it, it is a very good balancing act if you can balance it very well you're you're pretty good um okay oh. how many hours do you typically put in for one video average well um i read three stories per video it takes me like 30 to 45 minutes to sit down and record me talking and then it takes like another 30 to 45 minutes to edit everything, distort the voices that I want to do. And if I'm like, if I'm trying to have like different voices, I, it might take a little bit longer because I'll, I'll go to TikTok and I'll re pre record myself saying certain sentences and put like the voice filters. So that might add like an extra 10 to 15 minutes. So about an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes goes into, you know, sitting down and creating my stuff. Okay. Um, 
So this is a big question. This is kind of what this series is about. Um, what do you think it takes to be a YouTuber? Well, there's a lot of different things. You don't, I mean, you don't need to be the the most creative, most smart, inspiring. You just, I say the best thing to do is find what you love to do and then expand upon it. Stay consistent and make sure, make sure never to burn yourself out. That's what a lot of like big YouTubers do. They work so hard that they never take the time for themselves. And me personally, I wish they would. So please, if you need a break, take that break. That way you can refresh and come back even stronger. Heck yeah. And I really love that question because I'm sure since this is our first video, um, I'm sure that it's going to be answered in so many different ways. But overall, in my opinion, the best answer is just be yourself. Yeah, and, you, and, you very, cool. and you summed it up very well. Is it's it's you, you got to capitalize on what you're good at. Don't be something you're not. Yeah. Um, because so, trust me, whenever people find out, it's not good. <laughs> yeah. Um, because, and people will too. That's the crazy thing about YouTube and being a YouTuber is you're out there for the world to see. People see mm -hmm. you, they, they see who you are and they can find out exactly who you are in a <laughs> heartbeat. Yep. So, um, it's creepy, but it's also kind of cool when you think about it. Um, cause it, it forces you to be honest. Right. Um, so then final question. Is there anything you would change about being a YouTuber or would you change anything about your channel? Hmm. So that's, that's a good one. Only thing is, um, you know, with being a YouTuber, I like my channel as it is. I do want to expand on it and do other things. So it's not just, you know, one thing I'd like to you know, maybe one week I'll post me reading my scary stories and then all of a sudden I'm like in a different country ghost hunting or I'm out on my, my cross country trip and these are all my friends I'm getting to meet, you know, just have more content. But other than that, I, I wouldn't really change a whole lot. I just maybe would change the whole YouTubers getting paid to be easier. <laughs> I, I would agree with that. Definitely. <laughs> that's all I have to say um, on that. <laughs> well, it, but see, and that's the great thing about YouTube too, and, and not just YouTube. It's more so social media as a whole, like TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. It doesn't matter what you're on. Is you can essentially do just about anything you want. Like, for example, three hundred seven bears. We are a majority vlog channel. However, we do other series and other avenues that for other people to enjoy the content. Um, but there are channels that do strictly just like what you're doing. They only do that. They focus on it, but because they're focusing on it, they become very well motivated to make their videos phenomenal. And so they're not having to focus on everything else. So, right. um, that's awesome. So is there anything that you would want to tell the fans or the community watching this in the future, present, anything you'd like to tell them about being a YouTuber? Just do not stress it too much. It might seem like a whole lot at first. Just be yourself. Find a schedule that works for you and stay on it. And have fun. Don't do anything that you wouldn't have fun with. Do not do things that you wouldn't want to do because you think your fans would do it. Because trust me, when you see that your YouTuber is not having fun and what they're doing, it's not fun for the audience either. So just be yourself. Stay consistent and have fun. And be safe, obviously. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Uh, please stay safe. I've, I've seen some YouTube <laughs> channels recently where people are doing challenges from TikTok and stuff. Not all yeah. challenges are good. <laughs> <laughs> Not all um, prank channels are pranks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but with that being said, I appreciate you showing up for the interview and doing it. Um, and I hope you guys watching this have kind of learned something and kind of gotten a peek into the world from another point of view who's also a YouTuber, because I can sit here all day and tell you guys what it takes. But in reality, it's going to take more than just myself to let people understand and know mm -hmm. what it really takes. Because there's so many different ways and so many different practices that YouTubers do that just what I do is not even touching the surface. So, um, so thank you. Um, and with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and in this video here. If you guys enjoyed the content, go ahead and smash that like subscribe button. Twittergram, TikTok links are in the description. 
go check out the discord uh bleh, the two discords that we have in the description the family and the discord for the youtube you can catch viking on there as both for both of them as a discord moderator and me as the founder and a bunch of other people who just enjoy the content and love hanging out so we're there if you want to come hang out <laughs> <laughs> and uh go check out the merch store 10 percent off use their code early bird all caps no spaces and with that being said have a bear-tastic day guys Thank mm-hmm. you.